Good morning, good morning. It is bright and early. Things are coming alive this morning. And I just got back from the post office with a special delivery. Let me show you guys. Right here. So I don't have my name on it. It has Caleb and Kaya. So this box right here is their broiler chickens for their 4-H project. And it made it all the way from uh, Will Patry over in Bancroft, Iowa. And um, if you guys watched the last video, we let the turkeys and the chickens out and we actually put them over here in the Pico pen. Well, first thing this morning I look out here and they're trying to get back in the chicken tractor. So they're still small enough. They can actually get through that field fencing right there. Look at them. They went back in the chicken tractor. They said, hey, we know there's food and water in there. So we actually have food thrown out all over the ground over here and we got these tubs of water all over the yard. So they, they'll, they'll eventually figure out where that's at. But we got the broiler chickens all set up here in this chicken tractor. So that's what we're gonna do today. I haven't woke the kids up yet. They don't know I'm home yet. They stood up late last night helping us wash all this out and get the chickens moved and the turkeys moved and all that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in here because these little birds had a long trip. And there's no telling how long uh, they had to sit on the airplane and all that good stuff, so. I bet you guys are ready to get out of there. So like I said, right now, we are having record temperature highs and uh, we're forecasted to be like in 110 degrees today again. So we're not gonna mess with the heat lamp right this morning. Um, I will probably go ahead and plug one in every night just to be sure that they don't get chilled or anything like that because now they're in a lot bigger space and uh, when they ship them like this, there's no heating pads or nothing like that in there because they're in such a small box right here that they their own body temperature keeps each other warm. I guess I should have been counting them, but I haven't been. Hey, 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 ain't your mom going over here? There's water. Look, there's water right there. I'll dip some of their beaks in there in just a minute. Just so they know where their water is. I think there's 25, but I'm not counting. They're already getting going to town eating and scratching doing chicken things you guys are chickens that's for sure but look at these these are just white little fluff balls kind of yellow looking but they're gonna be white cute little birds all right i did not count them i should have counted them as well. oh that one already knows how to drink oh there's several of them drinking well that's good that's good. I'll let you guys be the teacher. Here you go. There's you some water. So they're thirsty little birds. So like I said, it is hot, so there's no telling how long they have been in the back of a hot truck or anything like that. So. All right, there you guys go. Look at, they just go to town. They know exactly what to do. I also put this little bitty chicken water in there in case there was any shorter ones or any that might have a hard time finding it, but it looks like they're gonna be able to use both of them. They were thirsty little little dudes, but they're going to town. They're eating, doing all their things. All right, I'm gonna try to get out of here. One of them got out. Lucky I didn't step on you. All right, I close this door for y'all, follow me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have the kids come back and count. I'm not gonna try to count them, but this is the kids 4-H project, guys. And the goal to this is we got about, I think it's seven or eight weeks to raise these guys up, and then at that time our county fair will be going on. Well, every year they have the county fair. They have a broiler exhibit, and they have a show to which 4-H member or which kid can raise the best, the biggest, the best looking chickens every year the judge is different whether they're judging on size whether they're judging on like certain traits or aspects of how these chickens grow and i don't really know because we've never done it before the kids have showed just regular laying chickens and show chickens in the fair but not never there any broiler chickens so our goal is to just pour the feed to these chickens 24 7 give them fresh water access 24 7 let them eat and drink as much as they want and 
I want to try to get them as big as possible. I think we can win Grand Champion if we just get them as big as possible. And if you guys caught the last video, Rachel and I was talking about we are having these record high temperatures right now, and uh, we'll just be thankful if we can all if we can just get them all made to the time of the county fair, and uh, you know, hopefully we don't lose any of them. Hope we don't lose all of them. Um, like I said, this is not ideal time to be raising these meat chickens. Uh, we don't have any grass to put them on right now. As you can see, we have we are in a drought. We have not had any rain in like three to four weeks, so we don't hardly have any green grass. So we're doing the best we can to kind of keep them over here in the shade. They have this tarp over their chicken tractor, and then they have the canopy of the trees. And they got a nice breeze today, so we'll see how they do. But they're they're good for now um that you've already seen there's tons of them drinking and um normally what you would do is if you got baby chickens whether you get them from a hatchery or you hatch them out yourself one of the first things you want to do is you want to take one of them or several of them and dip their little beak down in their water their water and uh, what that does is that teaches them oh i can get a drink from here then you you know you do two or three four of them and uh you do it a couple times and then set them down and then they start drinking on their own while well, the other chicks see that and they start mimicking them and those three or four that you just taught how to drink now all the other ones are learning from them and that's not someone i want to see over here hey these are for the 4-h project these aren't for smeagol you got all kinds of woods and everything to hunt in okay leave these chickens alone buddy Okay, fast forward several hours. We are out here. Mr. Mojo is out here panting. He's pretty hot today. So we had an uh, uh, awesome subscriber send us this chill pad. And what it is, it's like a cooling pad for animals, which for some reason Mojo will just not lay on it. I don't know what his deal is. It'd be a lot cooler probably. Anyways, me and Kyson come out here and check on the chicks. You ready to go see them again? Yeah. All right, let's go check on them. Well, ago when I came out here, there was a couple of them that figured out how to get out. So, hold on, I gotta show you something real quick. Look at this man. He thinks he's uh, in a cooler spot back here behind that plant. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, normally, guys, when you get these baby chicks, you'll put them in like a brooder, some type of brooder. Uh, we usually use the big galvanized stock tanks. Um, but it's so hot right now. It's 109 degrees right now and Our shop is insulated, but we don't have air. We don't even have any vents to vent any cool air in there or fresh air in there So I'm afraid if we put them in there It would get way too hot. I don't even know how hot it would be I would have to try to measure that somehow, but I think it would get way too hot and they'd probably suffocate so Let's make sure oh I think one's out again. Where do they keep getting out at? I See, can't... look, they keep getting out. There's like a little gap underneath there. Yeah, there is. We're gonna have to fix that somehow. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to move the whole tractor probably. We can probably push it back and then uh, try to get it on level ground. It's, it's really hard right here. The ground's not real level, but every so often there's some little divots and holes in the ground where the chickens will dig and they'll kind of take take dust baths and then if these rails are sitting on that then of course there's going to be a little hole underneath and then the chickens will just go underneath it. They were stuck. No, they're, they're not stuck. They're just trying to get back in there. there I don't know how they're getting out for sure. We'll, we'll uh, try to move this here in a second, okay? So oh, let me get the door and put them back in there. But everybody seems to be doing okay. It's really hot, so we don't need a heat, heat lamp right now. But tonight, mm -hmm. before dark, we'll go ahead and plug one in <laughs> just to be safe. They're so cute. They're fluffy. Yeah. So they sure have figured out that water. So now you and your brother got another job to do right yep you gotta tend to these guys and well actually guys these are girls these are cornish rock meat chickens these are all pullets so they're all girls i'm uh, so excited yeah it's gonna be uh exciting to see how big we can get these things in a matter of uh 
like seven, eight weeks is all we got. Yep. So we gotta make sure they got food and water all the time. So I'm gonna show you guys where we're, um, one of the dogs, the livestock guardian dogs over here on the big goat pen, that is one of their favorite spots to lay at this time of day to stay cool. They lay on that bed of grass that's in the pond and that mud bank over there just stays a little bit wet and it stays really cool for the dogs and it cools them down, helps them beat this heat. So all right, I think we just, I don't know, I think we'll move this back. We either move it back or move it forward. Maybe move it back a little bit and it'll still be in the shade. Yeah. Okay, so Kaya and I got their tractor moved back. It's a little bit more into the shade at this time of day. And um, it's a little more flatter. The only place that's not real flat is right here on the front. There's a little bit of a gap that they might be able to get out, but Kaya's putting the food and water back in there. They're actually friendly. It's kind of funny if you watch them, they'll actually come like run towards Kaya. Like, mama, mama, mama. But they're cute little girls. Oh, they want a drink. I said, okay, it's hot. Go ahead and put that one in there. We'll fill it up in a little bit. Dump that out, it's a little dirty. It's about empty. Oh yeah, they made a big mess in that. Hi! So gorgeous. So we got some bigger waters that hold like five gallons. That one holds a gallon. And I put it in there first thing this morning. It is almost halfway gone. Um, some of that could be evaporation, but I'm telling you, these little chicks are some eating and drinking machines. They will go through the food and water. Um, the five gallon water we have is a little bit too big. The little dish, like the green thing around that right there is a little bit too big on it and they could actually fall in it and drown. So we're gonna wait till they're at least a week or two old. Um, we'll be doing some progress update videos on these chicks because I'm telling you, if you guys have never raised any kind of broiler or meat chickens, the amount of time that they just, it takes no time at all and they're just growing. Every day you come out here, they're just adding weight constantly. They're looking at you like, hey, it's hot out here. So that's the most important thing right now is to keep them with fresh water um, multiple times a day. We'll come out and we'll fill up their waters. Even if they got water in there, you know, we'll empty it out. We'll get a couple more of these one gallon ones and uh, we'll empty one out and always have cold, cool water in there so they can kind of cool down a little bit. So anyways, this is how, uh, this is day one of the uh, broiler meat chickens. What do you think? They're so, they're so funny. They're little fluffy butts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just fluffy. That one over there likes you, I think. No, he said, I am thirsty. I'm gonna <laughs> run over there. All right, y'all do your thing. Yep. And, and uh, speaking of hot, Look at Yoshi and Yoneg. <coughs> What'd you guys do? Splash all your water out? We need to get in there and fill their water up. <laughs> They're taking a dip. <laughs> he said, if you lived outside in this heat, you'd be in the swimming pool too. Well, I totally agree with you, Yoshi. You are a smart emu. You guys are the only smart ones that's hanging out in the pool. So let's go fill that up real quick. Give them some cold okay. water. Oh, here comes the geese. <laughs> they love running, don't they? Okay, remember, when you first turn on the water, as hot as it is right now, this water hose is laying out here. If there's any water in there, it's gonna be super hot. So I don't want to grab it or let any animal get around it. So go ahead and turn it on. And I'm gonna make sure that nobody gets a drink or nothing. What are you guys doing? Huh? You guys want some cool water? Why are you not in your A? Why are you not in your pool that's in the shade? Millie! Where are you doing, girl? Oh, yeah, that, that's hot. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Let it cool off. Cool. Yeah, it's hot. What? Millie said, okay, you guys ran the emus off. We were going to take this pool back. 
All right, now it's nice and cool. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're gonna stick that in there and let it fill up, and then we'll go check the other ones. Yep. See how everything's going. When it's hot, when it's this hot, water is like the most crucial thing. Water and shade. Yes. For every living creature. Girls, boys, we're filling your pools back up. Give you some relief. Just say thank you. They say, ooh, cool water. That tastes so good. Hey, Yonek. You said you got anything good to eat? Yoshi's like, man, why'd you come over here? We were resting in the pool. We got up to say hi, and now the geese took our pool over. Yeah. It's okay. We'll go fill up their other pools. They got, um... They got three other pools up there that they can get in, and a couple of them's up in the shade at this time, so they'll be a lot cooler anyways. Yeah, it's picking up my finger. Yes. I think he's just staring at you thinking, hmm, that looks yummy. Ah. It's kind of hurt, bud. And all the goats over here chilling at the uh, cedar tree. They're in the shade, at least, most of them. Eating on some brush. Scratching their heads, whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, as I pan this camera around, you guys can kind of see the foliage in the trees. There are some of them that are starting to turn yellow. That is a bad sign. That is a very bad sign. It's a sign of drought. Because it isn't quite fall time, it's still summertime. How's the pool, girls? <laughs> Alright, Yoshi, let's go fill the other pools up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Think you can get on the run? Maybe. Okay. Come on, guy. Come on, Emus. Come on. You ready? They said, I don't know. It's awfully hot. Yeah. They might not want to be running. Probably not. They were running a lot this morning. Yeah. So you guys can hear the crisp crunch under my feet. That is the dry grass. That is no longer green. I don't know. I think they're too hot. Let's just fill their pools up so they can stay cool. Yep. The ducks are in the Yep. The ducks are over here chilling out in the shade. They're the smart ones. The real smart ones. Yep. What are you doing? You an egg? Huh? You guys sure are soft. You know that? You're really soft. You an eggs? said, I like your fingers, they're bite size. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yo, what do you know, man? Mm. Everybody's waiting for this nice cool water over here in the shade. Yep. We're filling it back up. We also keep that seven gallon water over there full all the time. It's always in the shade, so they always have something to drink, even though that they might not have something to they can't get in it but they can always get a drink out of it these anything can get a drink out of it and they can actually get in it and lay down or swim whatever you want to call it try to, try to pet them oh don't cry you little cry baby don't let them do that that's not a good habit You guys sure make it hard to video, you know that? Millie, come here, girl. You know, girl, come here. Millie's still the prettiest, I think. It pecked at my hair. It did. They peck your mom's hair all the time, too, and sometimes her ears, her earlobes. Yeah. They peck at everything. I wish Yoshi would eat wasps. There's a wasp over there on the pool. You know, bud. They probably will one day. I don't know. They probably don't taste too good. If they get curious. He's like, what do you got there, mister? What do you got there? Oh. Hey, not the microphone. <laughs> Stop. Not the microphone. <laughs> you already pulled it off once. So... 
There's a little dead cat on the microphone. It's a little fuzzy thing you see on cameras on the microphone to keep the wind noise and stuff like that <laughs> down. And these emus love pecking it and pulling it off. I ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> Trying to duck down underneath me. Right? <laughs> what do you turn your head sideways for? He's like, so I can see you. Oh, the ducks are gonna get the cool water now. Yep. Ow, he just got my ear. <laughs> Look at this. Why'd you do that? <laughs> I can hear you. Hey! <laughs> now he's getting my hair. hair. They don't taste good, I can promise you. It's just hair. Goofball. Oh, now the geese are coming. Yep, now the geese are coming. Some of the geese are over there. Yeah, they like to spread out. There's another pool over there. You can see some more in it. Okay, so Yone got in there, but while all the goats are coming up here for whatever reason, I'm gonna show you guys something I do. Follow me, sis. So Kai's got the camera, so he's gonna follow me. And I'm gonna show you guys a little treat we do for the goats. Gives them a little snack, and as you can tell, there's no green grass right now. This is a way that they can get a little bit of a green vegetation into their uh, diet. And they'll, goats absolutely love leaves or weeds. They are browsers, not grazers. So they'd rather eat leaves like this any day rather than grass. And it gives them good nutrition. Hey, goats, you want some, girl? And the good thing about it is we're just recycling leaves because these leaves will go right back. Yep. Hopefully if it rains. Some of them's missing out. Some of them don't want none, I guess. The whining. Alright, you all about got this one stripped off. One last bite. Alright. Alright. Alright, there you go. <laughs> you just got me in the leg. Alright. So, there's a nice little snack for him right there. Yep. What do you think? Look, Yoshi's sitting there saying, I don't, I can't believe you goats eat those leaves like that. I tasted them and I just don't see where they taste good. And Ghost said, Well, you eat worms and I don't like worms. Didn't you, Ghost? Some silly emus. Uh -huh. Well, some fell. Pumpkin's eating it, finishing it all. Yep. Alright, um, well, <laughs> now they got this pool overflowing. Look at that. We'll go fill the rest of them up. Yep. So they're all getting in there now, it's overflowing. So, anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. The kids are going to be raising these broiler chickens um, this summer into the fall. Well, it ain't even going to be really fall by showtime. It's the first, around the first week of September, I think, is the county fair. That's when these broiler chickens are going to be grown, and we'll be showing them. Hopefully, we get a little bit of relief in the weather. The temperatures go down. Maybe we get some rain. That'll help out with a lot. So, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave us a comment. Like this video, and we'll see you next time. They're munching on my fingers. Who is? They were. Ghost. Yeah. See you guys. Say bye, Amuse. He said bye.